Hi, I'm Wilfred the Weedy Boss. People always call me Wilfred the Weedy Boss, but I think they're really me. But, have you ever seen an element radioactively decay? That was me doing that! As you will already know, everything in the universe is made up of protons, neutrons and electrons. You may also know that there are smaller particles called quarks and leptons that make up protons and neutrons. There are six different flavours of quark, but all stable nuclei in the universe are made up of two flavours of quark, the up quark and the down quark. As you can see, the proton consists of two up quarks and one down quark. This gives the proton a relative charge of positive one. The neutron is made up of one up quark and two down quarks. This gives the neutron a ch relative charge of zero. In beta decay, a down quark changes flavour into an up quark. As it does this, it also produces a W boson. This W boson then turns it into an electron and an antineutrino, which fly away from the particle, and hence a new proton is created. As the down quark changes flavour, it also loses a tiny bit of mass. This energy is converted into kinetic energy. Time for a joke. How is beta decay similar to Weight Watchers? You only lose a tiny bit of mass, but it leaves you feeling really positive. My name is Samantha the Strong Force, and it's my job to make sure all the quarks and gluons are joined together to make protons and neutrons. They don't call me Samantha the Strong Force for nothing. I'm 10 trillion times stronger than Wilfred the Weak Force. That's the one with 13 zeros after it. I'm also 100 trillion 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 times stronger than Gary Gravity. That's the one with 38 zeros after it. Which way's the beach, Samantha? Quarks have a special charge called colour charge. The force between colour charged particles is very strong, so this force is called the strong force. The carrier particles in the strong force are known as gluons as they glue the quarks together. Gluons and quarks both have colour charge. Quarks constantly change their colour charges as they exchange gluons with other quarks. This animation shows how the gluon changes the quark's charge from red to blue. As a quark absorbs a gluon, it changes to the other colour charge carried by the gluon, but it keeps its status as either a quark or an antiquark. Every gluon ch carries a colour charge and an anti-colour charge, giving them effectively two charges. When this now blue quark interacts with a quark with a different colour, the gluon is transferred and the quarks swap their colours. <laughs> We experience electromagnetism every day when we use electricity or a compass. Electromagnetism is what keeps positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons together in an atom. But how does a proton know that there's an electron around? How does an electron know not to be attracted to a neutron? The answer is that both protons and electrons both fill their surrounding area with particles called photons. These photons have no mass and exist for only a tiny amount of time before disappearing into nothingness. Imagine the photons as being attached to the protons and electrons by a piece of elastic string. When a proton and an electron get too close together, these strings get tangled up with each other and this causes forces to pull the proton and electron together. Electromagnetism causes oppositely charged particles to attract and like charges to repel. In the nucleus of an atom, there are many positively charged protons. These positively charged protons would not normally stay so close together. It is the strong force that holds them so closely together. Sometimes these particles repel each other and the nucleus splits through radioactive decay. This is caused by the weak force. According to Einstein, gravity is where objects with mass cause space-time to curve, consequently pulling them together. Others argue it is caused by a particle called the graviton. <laughs>